I'm going to now, at the subsequent part of the video, talk about the proof for the interference equation. The proof is not needed in your exam, but it's kind of like a nice to know, especially if you are the type that um, you think you want to know the equation that you are using la, and how it, ki how it came to be. Okay, so if you look at the setup given to you, you have a bull slit, okay, drawn in this way. And uh, we are going to allow coherent monochromatic light. So monochromatic here means you have a single value of wavelength or one color. And uh, let's say we place a screen at the distance D behind the slit, okay? And I'm now going to draw a few things, just to get our bearings right. There's a wave coming up from this slit. There's a wave coming up from the other slit. And let's say they are to meet at point B. Okay lah, this point here. But this one I already labelled the bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, B for bright, D for dark along the screen already okay but you know obviously the wave below will travel further than the wave above now i kind of like want to find an, an expression for part difference okay and this one if you're a bit geometrically challenged like me watch me draw a bunch of triangles okay let's say now i take the midpoint between both slits a bit hard to adjust the midpoint so this is what i got but this is actually the midpoint okay and uh, the center point will always be bright okay and let's say i draw from the center point to this point okay so this is uh again just a proof because we need some angles if not how can we find distance yeah okay so since uh both waves are let's say wave one and wave two from this from the slits are uh, from this slit and this slit will travel a distance of uh, delta l okay let's say this one is theta the way these two lengths are very long uh, comparatively so this one here would be theta. if you can see it will be great if you can't see here's the proof okay so i'm going to copy out the tiny triangle which is a uh, red triangle okay and uh, this one is 90 degree and the reason why it's 90 degree right is because this wave this lang and this lang is very long so when when they are e almost equal right this angle uh, is isosceles but because this angle is very small because these two green lines are very long so this angle is like 89.99 90 la okay uh? That's why we, when we draw down, this one is 90 degree. We are taking the gap separation or the slit separation as A. Okay, so slit separation is A. And uh, right now our objective is to prove that both angles are the same. So let me label the angles first. Let's say I assign this one as theta. Okay, so this is the large blue triangle that is beside the screen. So this one will be theta. And I join... Remember, this is one slit. This one is one slit here. This is one slit here. So I'm just going to join this to the center because this one is the wave from the first, from the bottom wave source. Okay. So now let's consider this triangle. This triangle. Okay. I will label the vertex later for you. Let's say this angle here is alpha. So you get 90 plus theta plus alpha plus this tiny angle. Uh, let's say psi over 2. You can call it whatever you want. Psi over 2 because I took this whole angle as psi. Okay. So let's say this is N. This is M. And this is K. So the triangle MPN. All the some of the internal angles must be 180 since theta over 2 is very small. Okay, this means that theta is uh, plus alpha is equal to 90. Okay. 
All right. So we're going to look at the black triangle, which is our main triangle to look at. So this one is 90 degree, oh. And then you need to plus alpha. And then you need to plus this angle. Let's say this angle is beta. Okay. So you plus this one and you get 180. So you get alpha plus beta is 180. Oh, sorry, alpha plus beta is 90. So you compare, oh. If alpha plus beta is equal to 90 and they are both 90, hang on, let's go back. Okay, so if, alpha, if theta plus alpha is 90 and alpha plus beta is 90, so theta must be equal to beta. So this angle here, theta, must be the same as this angle here, theta. Okay. This angle, beta will be equal to theta. All right, and the reason why we need that is because we want to find an expression for part difference. Okay, so part difference in this case is between the waves, and your delta L here can be calculated using a sine theta, because sine theta is delta L over a. Sine theta is delta L over a, so delta L is a sine theta. So let's now prove. Uh, at the central position, point O, the delta L is zero. Because it's an isosceles triangle, they will meet at the same point. They will travel the same distance. So bright fringe is formed. Okay. And uh, this, let's say we take at point P, where the wave meet. Like, some random arbitrary point on top. Okay. So your delta L here is A sine theta. And the second thing to look at is that you will have a bright fringe. If a bright fringe is to form at P, then what this means is that there's constructive in if there's constructive interference, then your delta L, again, if you remember, 0, lambda, 2, lambda, n lambda. So I will say A sine theta is n lambda. Okay? Okay, low. Okay, number four. Number four, I'm going to look at the big blue triangle. Try to zoom in. Okay. So if you look at the big blue triangle, right, you will notice that I'm going to use the, that angle theta. Okay. And the so-called angle theta here, this big blue triangle is this one. Uh, okay. O P P M O. O P M. Alright. So tangent theta would be this side OP divided by D. But OP is this one, right? So I want to introduce this idea of fringe separation or maxima to maxima separation. The what the bright dark bright dark looks like fringes ma. Okay? So X can be bright to bright, X can also be dark to dark because it's a uniform, almost uniform representation. So let's say at point P, you get the end bright fringe. Okay. So assuming end bright fringe at P. Get a, get a better, this point here. Which means you will have N values of X. First bright fringe is 1X. Second bright fringe, 2X. N bright fringe, NX. No? So you get tangent theta is NX over D. So for small angles, tangent theta is almost the same as sine theta. If you don't know this in maths, you can just press your calculator. Ah. Angle must be small. Okay. So tangent theta is nx over d. And our sine theta is n lambda over a. You can see from here. So I put them together, rearrange. I get x is lambda d over a or lambda is ax over d. This, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the equation that you should memorize and know how to use. Proof no need lah. But I quite like the proof, so I show you long. Alright, so anyway, lambda is wavelength of the wave uh, passing through the double slit. A here is your slit separation. X is your fringe separation. Please don't confusion now. So fringe separation is dark to dark or bright to bright. And uh, D here is the separation from the slit to the screen. Okay? And all these values must be in meter. 
so please convert if not very hard to ratio i know they are all values for length unless they all have the same unit then can lah all right so that is the proof uh, for the interference equation that we will use in the examples that i will discuss shortly okay but before that i want to talk about this thing called part length okay so here right you can see that um the part length for every point uh, is quite standard at the center both waves will travel the same distance so the part length is zero at here at d 0 0.5 that's why 0 0.5 lambda so you get a dark fringe at, B, at here one lambda bright fringe 1.5 lambda dark fringe two lambda bright fringe so you get this bright dark bright dark bright dark bright dark because as you go higher and higher the difference are uh, your delta l become longer and longer okay because this second slit have to travel further and further long okay so i think you can see a pattern already if let's say there's another dark fringe here it should be 2.5 or the 0 0.5 0 0.51 is dark of course the dark will have no meaning unless there's a bright there so, so that would be 3 lambda 3.5 lambda 4 lambda 4.5 lambda and so on and so forth so i hope you have a pattern got the pattern you can find this once again in the content library and copy it into your personal folder for the week okay